the widest point of the Ohio River, the city of Louisville, in one of the biggest collaborations of the entertainment world, is in final preparations for a gargantuan outdoor show involving at least two states, the United States military, a cadre of multimedia production companies, and the magnificent Zambelli Fireworks International. This annual blowout event, known as Thunder Over Louisville, is part of a two-week-long kickoff to the Kentucky Derby. It's unbelievable how Thunder has grown. Um, no matter where we are, um, they'll see Zambelli. Oh, wow, uh, unbelievable. You do Thunder Over Louisville. And it's becoming world-renowned. I mean, um, wherever you go, people are beginning to know the display. There's a lot of people in the fireworks industry that come here to check this one out because this is the granddaddy of the fireworks. Uh, people are coming in from all over the country. There was 400 that came in from England last year for the show. It gives us a chance to, uh, to uh, show off our wares. We've got uh, 25 of the top technicians in the industry here with us, and uh, everybody wants to come, and it should be a bang-up show with no reservations. Antonio Zambelli founded the company in 1893 and the black book of secret fireworks recipes that he carried from Italy across the Atlantic is still kept locked up in the company's safe. Today, Zambelli Fireworks, operating out of Newcastle, Pennsylvania, is a multi-million dollar business. Zambelli produces 3,500 displays a year, 1,800 on the 4th of July alone. They have 55 employees, but that number mushrooms to over 800 during the busy season. Zambelli marquee events include the inaugurations of four presidents, the national victory celebration to welcome home desert storm troops, and, of course, thunder over Louisville. Today, Antonio Zambelli's son, George Sr., runs the company. The Zambellis understand that it's equally the pyrotechnicians and producers outside the family who are key to the success of a show, especially one as big as Thunder. The figures for the 27-minute program are staggering. Onto Louisville's Second Street Bridge and three barges on either side, over 34,000 shells and 46 tons of fireworks will be deployed, enough to fill eight tractor trailers. 700 miles of wire cabling, 265 tons of mortars, and a million pounds of sand to pack the mortars securely onto barges the size of six football fields. This display is more powerful than any display uh, ever produced. Uh, it has uh, more power than the, the Statue of Liberty display. And it's that concentration and magnitude in, in one locale that, that really sets this display apart from any other in the history of fireworks. Fewer wires would mean less setup time and less expense. This could translate to even bigger fireworks displays and more of them. The weather forecast calls for rain tomorrow. Nevertheless, 750,000 people are expected to be on hand for the big event. The mortars are covered with plastic and tarps, which will be removed just prior to the show. Before the tarps are laid, technicians spread a layer of aluminum foil over the mortars to protect against any rain once the tarps are pulled. With the foil covers and the fact that shells carry their own internally sealed sources of fuel and oxygen, Fireworks are not as vulnerable to rain as one would think. Essentially, when the first shell goes, it's going to blow the uh, foil off anyway, but it's used uh, mostly so we can uncover prior to the show and then fire the show on time without having to worry about the weather conditions. You know, slight drizzle or whatever won't damage the um, product that's inside the tubes. And what happens if there's an all-out downpour? Let go. As long as the, um, as long as the uh, command center says go ahead and go, we'll shoot the show to the best of our ability. The countdown to thunder continues at the show command center, located in a suite high above the river site. The crew here will oversee the entire event, from an elaborate air show 
to fireworks finale. The magic with what the Zambelli Company has brought to this show is, is the pure raw power of the fireworks show that we've got going on with this, with the magnitude that they've developed, developed over the years for this kind of show. Uh, it's an incredible half hour because we've literally got a constant finale. A digital time code track running along with the show's musical soundtrack is sent out by a radio signal to computers located on the barges and the Second Street Bridge. Running time code in exact sync with the music cues the firing sequence, which is preloaded onto the computers. Each computer is uh, connected to a main module then, that then sends signals to field modules, hundreds of which are all over the barges. And as you can see, here's a uh, uh, field module here, and the various uh, connections are back and forth to the, the different field modules so that they're constantly talking and interacting with each other so that when a 16-inch uh, multi-brake shell uh, that need, needs to be fired at 5 minutes and 23 seconds, the computer will know where to fire that shell. With 46 tons of explosives on board, safety is necessarily the primary concern. A spark could trigger a massive chain reaction type explosion. But the experienced crew loads the shell straight from boxes into mortars in the order in which they were packed. This keeps individual shells isolated from each other as much as possible. An accidental detonation of a shell in a mortar would simply fire it up into the air. A more likely and less serious mishap would be that a shell wouldn't fire during the show due to a failed connection. At show's end, pyrotechnicians run an inspection of all the mortars to make sure none are still hanging fire. Before the show, pyrotechs troubleshoot connections to all 45,000 plus shells and devices using field computers. You change that jumper between 93 and 94? How about now? Is it going? There it passed. So okay, we'll... Water, as a complement to fireworks, has a long history in pyrotechnic displays. The mighty Ohio and the Second Street Bridge spanning from Kentucky to Indiana will be the grand centers of attention for thunder. The site is absolutely fantastic. We have uh, essentially a 3,000 foot uh, river here, the Ohio River. Um, we have a, uh, uh, the Second Street Bridge. The Zambelli Gargantua, the largest finale in the world, I have thousands of effects just off the bridge, including the Niagara Falls. It's going to be a spectacular sight that no one will ever forget. Special aerial shells create a huge canopy of color into which other shells are shot. A bright glow spreads down to the water and over both banks of the river. gasps as thunder's signature effect, two waterfalls of fireworks more than a mile of fire descends from the bridge. The finale, dubbed Gargantua, boasts more shells fired in a 30-second span than ever before. Light, fire, and sound, all compressed into one of the largest pyrotechnics endings in history.